The man in the White House says that he's the law and order president. Hmm. I'm thinking that maybe a better way to express that would be the public safety president. Hello again everyone, I'm Eli's dad with Project Eli, where we educate, lead, and inspire. And you know, in these PC, politically correct times, the way that you express yourself, the way that you say something, really, ha really can make a difference, really, really matters. And these are very, very sensitive times, but in this one particular area, I don't have an issue. To me, there's a major difference between, quote-unquote, law and order and public safety. So let's talk a little bit about that. Now, when the words law and order are spoken, my first thought is there's the police, they have the shields, they have the sticks, they're walking towards the crowd, you know, sort of not a very pleasant sight in my mind. Law and order means, you know, I'm not talking about the TV show, I'm talking about in the streets. I'm talking about people getting beaten. I'm talking about, uh, what do you call those bombs that, that go, the smoke bombs or tear gas or, or <clears throat> pepper spray or all of those different elements to control, quote unquote, to control a crowd, law and order, people saying, you know what, you can't do that, if you do that, put your hands behind your back, we're taking you in. On the other hand, what about the term public safety? Now, sometimes in a country like ours, like the United States, where freedom is valued at the very top premium, the highest position on the totem pole, public safety doesn't mean beating somebody back. It may mean working with the people, it may mean asking them, hey, we're going to ask you, we appreciate your protesting, we don't want to get in the way of your protest, but we'd like you to stay in this particular area. Here's the why and because. Communication with the leadership. We want you to be able to express yourself, but at the same time, we do have a duty for public safety. We don't want people to get injured. We don't want people to get hurt. And in our estimation, this allows you to do, quote unquote, your thing and allows the public to remain safe. Okay, that's on the heading of protesting in the street, <clears throat> people expressing themselves, that type of thing. Now, on a bigger, more massive scale, public safety also concerns making sure this virus doesn't go around. We have the, you know, we have the federal quote-unquote wherewithal to go out and arm ourselves with necessary equipment to protect property, but where is the public safety mindset as far as protecting life and limb. I don't see it. We need to have leadership that is saying, I'm the public safety representative. I'm the public safety principal. These are the things that we want to do. We don't want our public to get sick. Yesterday, and I'm, I'm, I'm making this on Sunday, yesterday, Saturday, 77,000 new cases. Pretty soon, I mean, this number is jumping like crazy. Pretty soon it's going to be 100,000 cases a day. You know, these are not numbers to be sniffed at. These are not numbers to be, you know, ignored. These are numbers that need attention. Public safety demands that we put certain elements in place to make sure that that virus stays where it is, that we get it under control, that we make the numbers manageable so that when there's a specific outbreak, then the quote-unquote police department, the health, the, the health police are able to shut it down. The two scenarios different yet similar. You want to keep them 
in the right place. You want to keep them under control. One of them you want to express themselves, the political side. The virus, you don't have any choice. It's going to express itself no matter what. It's nature's way. The point is, you have the same elements. Let's start using a similar terminology and a similar mindset. So instead of focusing on law and order, let's focus on public safety. And because we will never end a meeting on a philosophical note, get out there, be safe, wear your mask, get out there and charge! I'm Eli's dad.